It's only been a year or so since consumers started buying 4K TVs. Surprisingly, the content has kept pace with that and we're seeing a huge increase in 4K traffic. Now this obviously puts huge stresses on the network, but it also brings with it a lot of opportunities. We're here in Shenzhen at Huawei's global headquarters and I talked with a lot of their thought leaders in the video area to hear what they have to say. I'm sitting here with Tony Wong, who's Huawei's director for Fixed Network Business Consulting. And Tony, thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you, Will. Thanks to see you today. Great. What are some of the opportunities that operators are going to see because of this recent growth of 4K video? Well, I think 4K will help the operator to monetize their network. The reason for that is other uh, video services will cost operate a lot of internal bandwidth. 4K, I think it will uh, increase the, the operator's uh, uh, revenue generating because 4K can be seen as a, I believe it can be seen as a basic service instead of a uh, WAS. So that it, it will be, become a basic service and operators are transforming from a carrier into a service provider. So 4K video definitely will help operators to move this direction. I think uh, operators have to uh, be better prepared for launching a 4K video. And I believe that if operators are serious about the 4K video, they should form a BU and have uh, a team dedicated for this uh, video service. And in regard to the network, I believe that, of course, 4K requires high bandwidth. And on the other side, content is the king. We believe that. And as you can see that in the US, and including Sony and Netflix, they are starting to stream out their 4K video. Tony, thank you for sharing your time and your ideas with us. Thank you very much, Will. I hope to see you again. Great. I'm here today with Samir Malek, who is Huawei's Deputy CTO for Fixed Network. Samir, thanks for being with me today. Okay, thanks for calling me here. And then it's, it's glad to see you here, guys. So Samir, outside of the obvious resolution, what are the main differences on the bearer network between 4K video and traditional 1080p? Okay, it's a good question and then uh, I would like to go in more detail that actually what 4K is because many people are confusing 4K with the ultra high definition TV. 4K simply means that four times higher resolution than ultra high definition. The simple definition to understand from the grassroots level. And then 4K is in limelight with the stellar appearances around the globe. This is a hot topic in the industry. Second, that you asked me that, okay, what are the, I mean, the distinguishing characteristics between the 4K and the ultra high definition TV? 4K have bring the more tiny granularity with smoother color, with more natural color and crisp quality of picture that you can feel the real live experiences or cinema experiences by sitting in your home. So this is actually the distinguishing characteristics. And if I'm going in more technical, that it can bring 60 to 120 frames per second as compared to the ultra high definition TV. So you can imagine that these two different horizons, 4K will bring, I mean, a new, new future for all the service providers, not only for the content uh, and not for, for, only for the equipment providers. Second, if I talk about industry, US, China, Japan, especially South Korea is, is going very proactive in developing the, the pipe, the network that brings the 4K back to the user's home. The 4K have bringing two to four times higher bit rate as compared to the ultra high definition. So you can imagine that what actually the bandwidth is required there. And not only the bandwidth, but also the throughput. So people always talk about bandwidth, but actually the throughput that carries the 4K stream, because it's having a lot of, you know, heavy bulk of uh, streams coming from the server to the, to the last mile user. So bearer, bearer network have a lot of a lot of network requirement, more stringent requirements. Like for example, they have to be packet loss ratio should be less than 10 exponential minus 5. Their round trip delay should be less than minus 40 milliseconds. So you can imagine that there are a lot of stringent requirements for, for the 4K video. For your average fixed network operator, is the bearer network able to really handle a 4K video launch at this point? And if not, what are the main problems and issues with that? If you personally ask for me, uh, as my understanding and my experiences by analysis and analyzing different operators or service providers network around the world, uh, it seems no. Uh, and then by giving answer no, there are a lot of technical parameters involved that why the system, why the network is not ready enough to get the 4K stream to the users. I can just uh, jot it down, I just mentioned here 
for five important reasons. Number one is this, that 4K needs a maximum burst throughput that be, have been around 40 to 100 megabit per second. So I'm talking about the throughput. I'm not talking about the bandwidth. People in the industry always confusing the bandwidth with the throughput. The, the missing of the big pipe like Pacific Ocean is one of the, one of the missing requirement or the shortcoming. Second, the packet loss ratio. 4K need a heavy, you know, a stringent requirement as I mentioned in, in first question. So we need that how we can avoid the packet loss and the latency, the lag, especially for the OTTs and the IPTV videos. Because now we're not only facing the IPTV videos, but we have OTTs like Netflix, Amazon, many other OTTs coming into the industry now. So how we can, I mean, how we are, I mean, ready to serve those customers. This is the second problem that maximum burst throughput. Then. Another is about that is not talking about the speed, the third. The third is about that how much your servers, your network itself is ready with the capacity point of view to serve those requirements. Like for example, in my home, there are many concurrent users watching or downloading 4K streams or 4K videos. So am I capable to serve all these in one user, one, one home? Because my bandwidth is always a shared bandwidth. My network, my routers, is it a highly throughput network uh, provider that can serve all the requirements of concurrent sessions and other missing point. Last but not the least is that performance monitoring. Can your system is able to monitor the key quality indicators or the KPI of the 4K video per user per service level and then tolerate it and then troubleshoot it on the real time. So another important shortcoming. I can, I can stay here and I can and mention you a lot of other, other technical shortcomings as well, but these fours are very important. Again, I can list it down. The packet loss ratio, are we able to, uh, I mean, are we able to avoid that one? Second, do, you, do we have the throughput network, highly throughput resilient network that is agile in nature? Third, that we have the performance monitoring. Performance monitoring, I'm talking about the key quality indicator that can give my service provider a big screen data analysis. And then the excess infrastructure, because people talking about the bandwidth, but in fact, how much bandwidth is going there? Is 50 MB, 100 Mbps? So what the excess infrastructure is still missing there? So yeah. I hope I can answer your question on this. Samir, thank you very much. I appreciate your mm -hmm. candor and I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much and it's always my pleasure. And I'm always welcome to all of the industry guys to visit us in MWC in Barcelona for more technical insights and business innovations. Perfect. Thanks Thank again, Samir. Thank you very much.